Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Nikon mirrorless full frame cameras. They're coming, the announcement's coming soon. Um, we're not exactly sure when, but soon. And the rumor is, the conjecture is, the hint is that we're getting a 45 megapixel body and a 24 megapixel body, which would parallel the Nikon DSLRs in the sense of the 46 megapixel D850. And then we've got our 24 megapixel full frame bodies like the 750 and the 610, which have been very, very successful. Now, this also parallels, uh, in a sense, the Sony system where you've got a 42 megapixel A7R3 and a 24 megapixel A7 III, two very successful cameras that Nikon has indicated they're aiming at the A7 lineup to uh, compete with. In other words, they said these new full frame mirrorless cameras we're targeting those A7s in the sense of what ours will do and what we're competing against. It's almost like they're sidestepping Canon altogether because Canon doesn't have anything yet to compete with these A7s. We're expecting mirrorless announcements from Canon. So it makes sense that Nikon's going after who the current king of mirrorless is. And that would be Sony with the A7R3 and the A7 III. But a 45 megapixel and a 24 megapixel body. I'm thinking that this may signal what the Canon, or the Nikon, I should say, the Nikon roadmap is going to be for the DSLRs as well. Because as much as I've been saying, I said in the past video with the 760, the update to the 750, I'm assuming that'll be called the 760, but whatever it's going to be called, the Nikon D750 replacement, we were discussing um, that I would like to see the 810's 36 megapixel sensor in it. However, it's entirely possible that being that they're really targeting Sony, and Sony doesn't have, it would, actually it would be a great way for Nikon to differentiate themselves from Sony. But if, they're, if, if this is what they're doing for mirrorless, 45 and 24, it's entirely possible that this is what Nikon's going to do for their roadmap of DSLRs as well as mirrorless. So we're going to get a 45 and a 24 megapixel mirrorless. And we're also, we've already got the 850 at 46. When we see the 750 and even the 610s refreshes, we could get the, just stay at 24. And that could be where they see the sweet spot is. The faster, better, high ISO, lower resolution, and certainly a different, much more of a greater difference in resolution than 36 and 24. Now we're up to 46 and 24. And it, it would make sense in a lot of ways. I think competitively it would make a lot of sense if, if they wanted to keep that extra camera in the lineup that in DSLRs we had the 850 at 46, the 760, the new the 750's replacement at 36 with the 810's 36 megapixel sensor, and then the 610's replacement, let's call it the 620, at stays at 24 megapixels. Uh, I think that would make sense if they wanted to give themselves a competitive edge. That would be a, certainly a great way to do it, um, as far as having that extra middle step for resolution that Sony doesn't have, and that. Really, Canon doesn't have either. I mean, theirs is kind of in between at 30 with the 5D Mark IV. I think it could be a signal of where Nikon's going with the roadmap uh, for DSLRs. It's not what I would like to see, and it doesn't mean that they couldn't in the future bring that 36 megapixel sensor into play, uh, but they may be waiting to use it further down the road. Uh, maybe the 850's replacement goes up into the 50 plus or 60 megapixel range, and then we see a 36 megapixel become the de facto lower resolution body. But it would seem with this roadmap, 45 and 24 for mirrorless, that we may not see that 36 megapixel sensor come into the 760 or the 750's replacement, whatever you want to call it, uh, or the 610 for that matter. Certainly I wouldn't think the 610 would get it if the 760 isn't going to. What do you guys think? Do you think this is an indicator of what we can expect from Nikon in DSLRs? Do you think it's not because they're going to differentiate their mirrorless lineup and that may be something they give us in the DSLRs that keeps the DSLR market alive and well? Maybe a 760 at 36 that you don't get in a mirrorless? What do you guys think about that? Do, um, do you think this, this is something, well, I guess, would you like to see the 36 megapixels somewhere in the lineup on the DSLR side? On the mirrorless side, um, do you think we're going to see that happen? Do you think this signals um, where Nikon's going? Or do you think we still might see a 36 megapixel sensor come into the lineup, perhaps at the 760 level? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you guys think about that. That's where my mind went when I saw that, uh, uh, you know, when we're looking at the 45 and the 24 on the mirrorless side, I'm wondering, is that 
basically indicative of where Nikon's going with their DSLR roadmap as well. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.